Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit, and this is Fortnite Save the World PvE 2018. Now what we're doing today, we're looking at one hero in particular, and he's my favourite hero, which is Survivalist Jonesy. Now I've got the legendary version of him, but he's completely viable as an epic or as a rare. Now, he's not a perfect hero, you know, he's got some issues, there's some flaws there, which we're going to touch on as well in a minute, but what this is going to do is give you a better understanding of what kind of a hero he is, and how best to use him. So stay tuned for this. Okay then, so we're looking at Survivalist Jonesy in particular, and he's described as a tough soldier who can rapidly heal himself by defeating enemies. That's how he's like described what I've seen on the Wikipedia. Now, when I first read that, I thought it was quite tanky, and that it'd be kind of like, you know, when you get the uh, boomkins like you used to in World of Warcraft, or you get the uh, the shamans when they used to go up with the in the bear form, but he's not actually like that, it's a little bit different. And I'm going to explain why. I'm going to go over the flaws. Um, I mean, he's still a very, very viable hero, and he's still my, one of my favourites. He's the, the best one I've got on this account at the moment. However, I'm just going to go over each skill, and we'll just have a look at what makes him valuable still, and where his actual flaws are. So the first skill we've got is Advanced Tactics. So Ranged Weapons, uh, Damage Increased by 10%, Health 10%. That's all good, you know, that's a decent skill. Um, and that's a good perk, a really good opening perk to be honest, and quite and quite high. So next one is Shockwave. Great to have it at number one as well. So it costs 30 energy, cooldowns 30 seconds. Soldier emits a shockwave, knocking back enemies within one tile range and dealing 912 energy damage. Now on my last account, this was a little bit broken in Canny. I don't know if it still is. Um, so it kind of was underwhelming once you got to Canny Valley, but certainly in Plankton and Stonewood, that is a very powerful skill, and it's great as an opener. So, which takes us on to debilitating shots. Now, that's a good debuff. Dealing ranged weapon uh, damage applies one stack of vulnerability, increasing damage, taking them from all sources by 5% on the target, 15 seconds, stacks up to three times. So, that's quite good. That's quite in line with the theme of Survivalist Jonesy. And what that means is it kind of um, weakens the enemies and then your friends. If you've got any ninjas in there or other soldiers, they can kind of take them out which is absolutely fantastic. It works really well, um, and, you know, no complaints about debilitating shots. Which takes us on to his signature move, which is Survivalist. So killing an enemy with a ranged weapon heals a base of 10 health. Now, I've looked into this quite a lot, and that's okay. It's kind of broken down into three sections here. So we've got the cooldown, you know, which is two seconds. It's got to be done by ranged weapons. That's actually mega important. That should be in bold, uh, if you ask me. And then obviously the fact that it heals uh, a base of 10 health. Now looking at that, the actual health um, benefit that it gives you is absolutely tiny. It's not much at all really. And you don't really feel it much in game. Now I worked out to go from 0 to max, you'd be looking at around 40 to 50 kills. My math might be a bit out there. But around 40 to 50 kills to go to max health. Now that's all great, but the problem that you've got with that is one, you've got to land the final kill. And two, things like grenades, shockwave, or even going commando, don't actually count towards this skill. Now, with the two second cooldown on that, that makes it even harder because, say if you're shotgunning enemies, they're running at you one after the other after the other, you're not actually getting the heals because you've got to land that kill shot on each one. And if you've got someone helping you out, which let's face it, it's Fortnite, you usually will have, that's not really going to help you very much. So, this is one of the flawed areas, I think. So, it's actually his main skill, it's survivalist. But it's one where I do feel it falls down a little bit. And the health bonus that you get for this is just minuscule. It's not really worth it um, in that sense. So if you're going to play Survivalist Jonesy, it's not like a core thing. He's still a soldier, so he's great. But this is not something you're going to be falling back on. So then you've got Assault Damage um, at level 8. Increases Assault Weapon Damage by 24%. That's huge. That's massive. And uh, Weapons are king in Fortnite meta at the moment. So that, you know, it's quite a welcome boost at the minute. You get frag grenades at level 2, they're absolutely fantastic, you know, no qualms there at all. Um, no time to bleed, so that doubles the amount healed by the survivalist when an enemy is killed, so that's always a good one. Not that it really works, but it doesn't tie very well in with survivalist still, but you know, it still gives him a little bit more survivability, I guess. Quick clip reload speed uh, by 30%, that's good if, you've, you know, if you're getting overrun, being able to reload your gun quick is massive. Uh, clean living. So increase base health by 20%, you know, no problems there. Go and commando, anyone who's played soldier should know that skill by now. 
Um, you might not have reached it yet if you're only still at Plankerton or if you've got a hero that has it um, on level 3 like I do. But, you know, I've got other soldiers that have got this much, much earlier. And it's quite a decent skill. You know, fires 18 times per second, dealing 13 base physical damage per shot for 10 seconds. I never have any qualms with going commando. And waste not, want not, increase ammo capacity of all weapons by 40%. So you can keep going with the shots, which is absolutely huge as well. Now, the final flaw that I find in Jones is the flak vest. What you'll find is it reduces damage by 90%, reduction drops by 30% each time a soldier is hit, and is disabled for 60 seconds after the third hit. So let's just think about that for a minute. So 90% taken damage, 30% each time the soldier is hit, so it drops down up to three times. But look at this cooldown, 60 seconds. This is actually way too long, you know, 60, if you think, if you're attacking one of the beehive husks and one of the bees gets you and just takes off, I don't know, 2-3 damage off you, that's your 90% reduction. So your 2-3 damage becomes 1 or none, which is not even, you know, you're not even going to feel that. And then after that, the 30 might be something else, that might be a mini husk that gets you. And then the one after that could be a, you know, it could be a smasher, could be absolutely anything. So it's hard to kind of utilize this. For Jonesy to make it look like he's, you know, to actually use it in the fact that it's going to be reliable. You know, it's going to be massively unreliable. The cooldown's massive, and to say that's his level 30 skill, it's a little bit underwhelming, really, in that sense. I mean, overall, you know, he's got great buffs, he's got really good weapons, and the only issue I've got with him is specific perks. So the Flak Vest, which is his level 30, and the Survivalist kind of suck. Do you know, if you were going to make him better, I would say remove the ranged uh, issue from. Uh, do you know, when we were talking earlier about um, the other skill that he's got, I'm just going to go back up here. So when we were talking about Survivalist, I would take away the ranged element of this. Because what that would mean is that, you know, you could, anytime you're making kills, so be it with your, uh, you know, ground stomp or anything like that, you're going to start getting heals. That would actually make him much, much more viable. The other thing as well I would also do is get this flat jacket and remove the cooldown. 60 seconds is just too long. I can see what they're trying to do and it, I understand it's got to be regulated. But maybe something like, I don't know, 30 seconds might be a little bit better. Or do something where you lower this, you know, lower the uh, reductions. Just make it three lots of 30. And then maybe make this maybe something like 25, 20, something like that. Maybe that would be a better way to do it. And that would give him more survivability in that sense. But let me know your thoughts on that, guys. I'd love to know what you think of Jonesy. I mean, overall, I think he's still extremely viable. You know, his, his other skills that he has got, you know, the other ones that we talked about that we kind of skimmed over... Are absolutely fine so quick clip you know on the damage the extra damage that he's got things like that are all massively massively welcome assault damage at eight is, is fantastic that's a great place to put it so he's more than viable and the gameplay of jonesy i never have an issue i usually go to him first if you look in my actual um hero lock i've usually got him set in primary um you know and i have it that way i get my tactical bonuses down here but yeah do you know He's an absolute legend when it comes to using a hero. If you've got some of the other heroes, yeah, they can be better. But, you know, on this particular account I've got, let's look at the other soldiers that we've got on here. Shock Trooper, Renegade, you know, yeah, okay. But ultimately, I would usually, like I said, go with maybe someone like Ramirez or someone like that might be a little bit, have a bit more of an edge over Jonesy. But absolutely viable. You know, you should play to characters that you enjoy, and he's definitely one that... I find fun to use and one that I will be using going forward and you'll see him a lot in my series that you uh, if you guys are regular watchers you'll see Jonesy all the time so massive thanks for watching guys you know if this is um, you know the first time that you've come here you know make sure that you subscribe down below and a massive thank you for joining us and I'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching guys